Okay. 3 p.m. Let's start. Thank you, everybody, for joining this webinar, this Biome webinar today. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, conference room and uh, design with the Parlay microphone. My name is Mauro Barbieri, a uh, field sales engineer at Biomp, and uh, my colleague Giulio is with me today. Yes, hi, my name is uh, Giulio Ferrari, and I'm technical support specialist at uh, Biomp, so welcome to this webinar also for me. And the agenda for today is, uh, uh, as I said, is about the cycle, the design cycle for conferencing uh, around uh, microphone uh, parlay from Bayern. Uh, the first uh, uh, first part will be a quick in, uh, introduction of the parlay microphone family, and uh, we start talking about how to select the right uh, microphone. Uh, in the product line then the room assessment so collection of all the information that we need uh, um, to to go ahead in the design uh, uh, process and then uh, with all this information we can finally feed the, the conference room designer that is the biome tool uh, that um, helps us do during the uh, design stage at the end we will have uh, uh, the usual Q and A uh, session. Let's start with the overview of the Parlay microphone family. So, first of all, beam tracking. This is the common feature among the uh, entire Parlay microphone product line. What is beam tracking? I'm sure that everyone knows beam forming. That is uh, shaping of the microphone polar pattern in order to direct the polar partner to the um, participant, to the talker. And beam tracking is a sort of dynamic beam forming. So with this uh, technology, we can uh, dynamically uh, shape the polar pattern and move uh, this uh, microphone lobe in the direction of the talker in a dynamic way. The advantage for the user is um, uh, that's very easy to participate in a conference with this technology because you don't need to stay close to the microphone or in a specific place but you can freely move around and is the automatic microphone that is following you so uh, at a certain point you forget about the microphones it's very very interesting and uh, um, the uh, Parlay microphone family has three different form factors, the ceiling mic, pendant mic, and the tabletop version. Uh, about the ceiling mic, we have three different uh, codes, TCMX, Tezira Ceiling Microphone X series, uh, TCM XA and XEX. Uh, the TCM X is the version uh, with the microphone and the network box. Uh, we have a, an option for the network box, that is the TCMXA. In this package, we have the microphone plus the network box, but in this case, network box integrates an embedded amplifier, a PoE amplifier with two channels. And then we have the third code, uh, that is the XEX, that is the extension, because every network box in the TCMX or TCMX, uh, TCMXA um, allow the connection up to two microphones. So we can take one TCMX and, for example, one TCMXCX in case we need two microphones. Uh, the next codes is TCM1 is the pendant microphone. Even in this case, we have three possibility. TCM1, network box plus microphone. TCM1A, network box with embedded mic, um, amplifier, two channels, PoE amplifier, and then the extension. In this case, every TCM1 or TCM1A allowed the connection of uh, uh, two more extension for a, a, an overall of three microphones. And uh, the last one is the tabletop microphone, TTMX, so the, uh, Tezira, table microphone X series. And uh, in the TTMX, we have the network box 
and the microphone. TTMX, X, EX, we have the uh, extension because every network box allows the connection of a second node. Uh, in my opinion, uh, when we start deciding which microphone is the right one for our uh, design, a good way is to start with the uh, flush ceiling uh, microphone. Uh, in this case, we have a, a optimized aesthetics, very small fingerprint in the meeting room. Um, very good uh, technology. Uh, we have uh, 360 degrees, four zones, uh, 16 capsules, and the longest pickup distance in the Palais range. And uh, it is very easy for uh, the installer because uh, everything is uh, using uh, uh, category cables and only one cable needs to be uh, connected from the processor to the ceiling and everything is in the in the plenum. So you have the network box uh, with the option of the embedded amplifier, you also have the amplifier and you connect both the microphone and the loudspeaker to this box and only one cable is running from the ceiling to the processor. So very, very easy to install and uh, very good performances. And uh, whenever you don't have the possibility for a flash mounting and or uh, in case of challenging acoustic, you need to reduce the distance between the microphone and the conference participants, you can opt for pendant ceiling. In this case, uh, you bring the microphone closer to the audience and, uh, and you can do this installation even if you don't have uh, uh, space in the ceiling for the flash mounting. And uh, then, in the, in the chance that you don't have the possibility to install anything to the ceiling, or if you need to reduce even more the distance between participant and the microphone, you have a very good option with a table microphone. Uh, even in this case, you have uh, 360 degrees, 16 capsules, and the plus of having the mute button on the uh, directly on the microphone. Uh, so depending on the room you need to equip, you can start deciding which one is uh, your best option. All the Parlay microphones can be used with the, the Bayam uh, conference platforms, both Davio and Tazira with the Davio SCR20 and 25 you can connect one uh, uh, TCMX or TTMX, so one microphone of the X series. Uh, using the Davio SCX uh, 400, you can reach up to four microphones. SCX 800 allow up to eight microphones. And with the Tezira platform, rack mount server, or 40X, you have a scalable uh, solution. In this way, you can cover uh, all uh, the room types from the very small other room to large and complex uh, situations. So every conference room you have to, uh, to create, uh, you have the right uh, solution. Room assessment. So now we have some information about the microphone and we need to collect information about the room. What kind of information? physical uh, information, so the measurement, and the, if we have a table, uh, the position of the table, uh, possible location for microphone installation, and the kind of ceiling that we have, and, um, and also the same for the loudspeaker, and then we need to collect acoustical information. Uh, acoustical information means that we need to measure the noise, so the ambient noise, in this case, we will use SPL A weighted measurement. This is because this measurement is closer to the uh, human ears. And, uh, and then we can also use a noise criteria. In this case, we have um, more granular information about the noise in different frequencies. And then the reverb time. So we need to measure the RT60 
and that is the, the time that it takes to decay 60 dB from, uh, from a sound. So this is the way we are going to measure the reverb of uh, the meeting room. Uh, this is a table where we try to simplify the result of the measurement. Um, we have five different uh, uh, values from uh, poor to perfect. And uh, here you can see that uh, with different noise floor and uh, reverb time values, we have a different classification of the room. And this classification will be used uh, later in the process. And here, for example, you can see that uh, for us, a good room is a room with uh, around 40 dB uh, noise floor and uh, uh, less than half a second reverb time. Uh, why we measure the noise floor? This is very helpful to estimate uh, the signal to noise ratio at microphone level. For this, we, we need the background noise and the value of the signal. The signal to noise ratio is the difference between the signal, so the, the uh, speech of the talker, and the background noise. And uh, this, uh, the signal, you know, uh, decay with uh, the inverse square law um, and uh, uh, decay 6 dB every time that you double the distance. And uh, in this example, we, we work out the signal-to-noise ratio at microphone level. That is the uh, position that uh, is interesting for our process. And uh, in this example, we have 171 dBA at talker, one uh, foot from the talker, and uh, four feet from the talker to the microphone. So it's very easy to understand that we uh, lose 6 dB after uh, one foot, so at two feet distance. At four feet distance, we lose other 6 dB for a total of uh, 12 dB. And uh, uh, from the initial value of 71, we reach uh, 59. Uh, if we assume that we have 40 dB noise floor, we have a resulting of 19 dB signal to noise ratio and uh, uh, just to give you an idea uh, the uh, good result for signal to noise ratio is around 20 db uh, a very good signal to noise ratio is about 25 and uh, the minimum is about uh, 15 and uh, uh, better not to go below 15 db in signal to noise ratio and this is a value that we need to keep into account for the design of our room. This is the complete table that puts together the classification, the noise floor, the reverb time, and maximum pickup distance uh, depending on the microphone that we are going to use. So for example, in a good room where we have four, around 40 dB noise floor and uh, half a second reverb time, uh, the TCMX in the central column, that is uh, uh, the one with the longest pickup range, uh, the maximum pickup is three meters. With the TCM1, the pendant, uh, the maximum pickup range is 2.4, but in this case, we have the advantage of uh, being able to reduce the distance between the microphone and the talker because it's a pendant microphone. With the table microphone, the TTMX, maximum pickup distance in this good room is 1.7 meters. So this is the reference guide that can help you to uh, decide which is the best microphone and how many microphones you need and where you need to place the microphone in the meeting room. But as you will, you will see later, we have an automatic, uh, automatic tool that helps you in doing the math automatically. So um, everything is uh, prepared by a software, very easy. How to do the measurement? There are uh, many possibility of professional tools, but uh, today I'm going to uh, suggest also the possibility to use uh, an app for smartphone. 
um, in this case, what, uh, what we're, I'm talking about is a specific app. The name is Audio Tools, coming from Studio 6 Digital. Um, those people uh, made uh, a lot of tests using the uh, iPhone's different models. Um, it, it is the process is very well documented on their website. You can see that they uh, found that the capsules inside the iPhones are quite stable, and uh, and for this reason they were able to calibrate every different uh, iPhone model. And uh, and so if you don't have any other uh, calibrated tools, uh, you can use this app. On, on your iPhone and, uh, and as a result, a meaningful measurement. So something that you uh, can use. Of course, if you have the possibility to have a, a professional tool or connect a calibrated microphone to audio tools, uh, you can reach also a um, certified measurement. The meter itself is certified class one and two. So, but if you need to provide to the customer a certified measurement, in this case, you need a calibrated and certified microphone. But uh, could be very interesting because very quickly, just with an app, you have the possibility to do your own measurement. And with this tool, you can both measure the noise level and the RT60. Talking about RT60, the measurement usually is to create a sound 60 dB higher than the noise floor and then measure the, uh, the decay time uh, when the, the sound decreases 60 dB. Uh, easily, you need more than uh, 100 dB, especially if you have a 40 dB uh, noise level. And this means that in a, in a common office, you need to excite the room with 100 dB um, signal that could be quite annoying, and uh, but using these audio tools, you have the possibility uh, to measure the reverb time using the RT20. Um, so just measuring the decay of 20 dB, and the software itself is uh, interpolating the result and estimating from that RT20 the RT60 value. So very let's say um, it's better in an office environment to do this uh, RT20 uh, measurement. Talking about the measurement, you need to have a strategy for, the, for taking measurement of the noise floor and the reader time. For the noise floor, uh, you need to evaluate the noise at microphone uh, placement. So if you think about installing microphone in the ceiling, you need to take the measurement in the possible location at ceiling level, especially uh, because in the ceiling you may have some air conditioner or the projector. And my suggestion is to take with you the map of the meeting room, take measurement and uh, take some notes on the map. And at the same time, even if you think to install microphone in the ceiling, take some measurement uh, at table level. Maybe that in a later step when we are going to design the system, we discover that uh, the ceiling is too high or uh, we want to double check what is going to happen if we install the microphone on the table. And so better to take some measurement also at uh, table position. Talking about the reverb measurement, uh, you need to simulate the position of the participants and uh, excite the room with the, the, um, uh, the noise from that position. If you have the possibility to use an omnidirectional loudspeaker, uh, just uh, uh, made on purpose for uh, reverb time measurement, you can use that kind of loudspeaker. Otherwise, install a loudspeaker on a tripod and uh, uh, try to repeat the process, pointing the loudspeaker to different direction. So in, in this way, uh, you, have, you simulate the uh, directivity of the talker to one wall or the other, 
and you are able in this way to uh, work out an average of your weaver time. The software uh, audio tools is uh, able also to create the average. Um, you can um, uh, do multiple measurement and the software is creating the average for you. So very easy process. Uh, this is an example of the noise floor measurement made from audio tools. In this case, we're talking about a perfect room. We are less than uh, 30 dB noise floor and the noise criteria dictates that the, um, the noise criteria in this case depends on the 8 kHz frequency. Uh, so we, with the noise criteria, we also have some information about the source of the noise that dictates the curve. And uh, then we have another example. This is a good room, uh, 38.4 um, noise floor. So very good in our classification. And the noise criteria depends on the 500 uh, frequency. So if we want to decrease the noise floor, we need to understand uh, what is producing that noise in that frequency so we have some more information and um, and also in this case we see that most of the energy is on the lowest frequency outside the speech band and as you know um, it's also less um, let's say uh, uh, human ears are less sensitive to the low frequency so it, um, it, for this reason, if then we have uh, a lot of energy, this is not affecting the average of the noise floor. Uh, talking about uh, reverb time measurement, this is the uh, screen during uh, reverb time measurement with the audio tools. Uh, we have the reverb time measured uh, for every frequency and the software itself is working out an average. The technique is the gated noise. So the, uh, the app itself is creating a pink noise and uh, with the gated noise uh, technique is stopping the noise and measuring the decay time. So now we have all the information about uh, the physical room measurement, table position, possible microphone and loudspeaker position, then we have all the information about the acoustic of the room, so noise floor, lever time, some idea about what is the best option for the microphone, ceiling, pendant, or table microphone. So it's time to go to the next stage and start the conference room designer that we can feed with all the information uh, in order to prepare the design for our conference room. So now I switch to my colleague Giulio that will uh, explain how the conference room designer is working. Yes, thank you, Mauro. Uh, we have now all uh, uh, the measurement, the acoustic and the physical measurement of the room, and we explained uh, the concepts behind uh, all these measurements uh, and uh, uh, the product family of. Uh, uh, the parallel series and now we will use one of uh, biomp tools uh, to create a complete uh, design for uh, a meeting room mm, if we go to support.biomp.com we will see a section called design tools uh, that contains a lot of uh, calculators and uh, tools that we can use to design specific uh, features for uh, the audio and video in our room and one of the most uh, complete tools is the conference room uh, designer, which is able to provide us with a, a complete uh, project uh, that contains uh, microphones, speakers, everything that we need uh, for our project. Uh, so uh, first, uh, we uh, let's just recap the uh, measurements that uh, uh, we have in our room. So it's a, a five by ten meters uh, room with the ceiling of uh, three uh, meters high. Uh, the room contains a table, a square, a rectangular table of uh, five by one point two meters, which allows for uh, fourteen people uh, to to sit uh, at the, at the table. 
And then we have the acoustic measurements, uh, a noise floor of uh, 41 uh, dBA and an RT60 of uh, 500 uh, milliseconds. So these are the, uh, the measurements that uh, uh, we will use uh, for uh, the, the setting of this room. And just a, a quick recap, uh, uh, this is the table that we saw before. And we see that the 41 uh, dBA noise floor um, is in the range of uh, good uh, acoustics and the RT60 uh, too. So uh, we know that this is the setting that we will be able to use for the design of this uh, specific uh, room. What's the output of this uh, tool? Uh, well, uh, at the end of the process, uh, we will be able to download a complete document, a PDF that contains uh, a recap of all the information that uh, we entered into the system and all the calculation and uh, the placement of our uh, audio and video devices. So room information, uh, mic, uh, mic coverage and uh, speaker coverage and uh, a complete uh, list of all the equipment that uh, we will need for uh, our installation. So it's really a very useful tool that can uh, be used uh, as a guide for the installation, but also as a sale uh, tool, something that we can provide our customers with uh, all the necessary information. Uh, let's uh, see the conference room designer in, uh, in live demo. So I connected to support.biome.com, is the uh, cornerstone uh, uh, website of uh, Biomp. And here, just uh, as a reminder, you can find uh, articles about all technical information about installation, configuration of all uh, Biomp devices. So this is the place where uh, all the knowledge base is uh, stored uh, about Biomp products. And uh, here near the, the bottom of the page, we see uh, the category design tools. It's a page that contains uh, several tools, as, uh, as I mentioned. Um, for uh, different and specific uh, uses. And we will see today the conference room designer, which is uh, one of the most complete uh, tools that are available on the website. So starting from uh, the beginning, we we'll just enter project name, meeting room, the company name, and the name of uh, the design engineer. Uh, first, uh, the designer will guide us through um, a series of uh, questions and we, we can uh, just fill in uh, the details that uh, we know, the measurements that uh, we know about uh, the room, uh, and the system will generate the project uh, uh, automatically. Uh, I'll just uh, select meters. Where we will use uh, European uh, measurements for this room, as we saw, so 10 meters by five meters is the room dimension, ceiling height is three meters. And then I have the possibility to select uh, the ceiling tiles. So we'll just uh, put uh, 60 by 60 standard European uh, tiles for the ceiling. And then we can select uh, the shape and the dimension of the table. So we have a rectangular table, which is five meters by 1.2. And we continue to the next step. And here we start seeing the uh, audio device. Um, you can see the families uh, that uh, we just saw in the uh, in Maui's part. So the ceiling, the pendant, and the tabletop uh, mic, three different uh, styles, three different uh, families. And the video bar and audio bar, which are the most uh, recent addition to the conference room designer are beyond the scope of this uh, webinar. Uh, we can also select uh, the uh, coverage of the mic. So we can uh, select a full room and uh, or a Fox room. Fox will be uh, more uh, focused on the table. So uh, we need to know the type of use that uh, uh, the meeting room uh, will uh, have. So if we have a, a whiteboard or we prefer a different coverage, full room coverage, we can select it uh, here. And then the room acoustics is again, the five categories that uh, we described so far. So from poor to perfect, and we selected the, the good. And there's a handy link just uh, here. So if I 
click it, I am brought to a page on Cornerstone where I have uh, the recap with uh, the five uh, values, the five ranges, and an explanation of uh, what their uh, the meaning is. So, uh, just a quick uh, recap if I need to check the uh, reference values for, for these. Uh, and then again, for the speakers, I can select uh, uh, full or uh, focused coverage, and I select, can select if I want to have a, a camera or not. Let's just uh, uh, not select it for now. And then I can uh, select the product family. So I can select between the Devio, this will be the Devio SCX uh, family, or the Tezira X uh, series. So uh, I, I will choose the Tezira now, and I can change this uh, choice also later in the design. Okay, and this is uh, basically it for the first uh, automatic uh, creation of the project. So the system is already giving me a plan of my meeting room and there's a, a table uh, size to the specification that I entered. So I can already uh, see a project, but I can customize it uh, by going through the selection, the, the option here on the right side. So let's start from the floor plan when I can, I can check the measurement of uh, my room. I can move around uh, the door and I can move the table if I want to put it uh, somewhere else uh, in the room. I can rotate the table according to uh, room uh, specification to match uh, the room design. So I'll just uh, put it here and also have a measurement tool so I can check the distance uh, from uh, one device to the other, from one uh, furniture to the other or the walls. Uh, on the right, I can uh, check or change the dimension, the ceiling height, the table shape, uh, etc. The second page is the ceiling. Again, I selected the ceiling tiles, so I can check here the ceiling tile dimension and the number of tiles, but I can also uh, move uh, the tiles to precisely match uh, what's really in uh, my room. So uh, I will have my design even more precise uh, uh, by doing this. And, and then very interesting, this uh, if I select uh, this option, I can just uh, uh, block out tiles uh, where I know that uh, I won't be able to place uh, um, any device because uh, there's uh, lighting, there's uh, air conditioning, there's uh, heating, access point, anything that uh, is installed in the ceiling uh, will prevent me from installing something uh, in that uh, in that ceiling tile, so very handy to uh, be able to cross out uh, specific tiles. Acoustics again. I have my categories. I check that I selected the good uh, range, which is the right one, and then the mics. Um, here I have uh, my style of mic, so I can uh, now I selected the ceiling tile, the ceiling mic. Uh, I could also switch to pendant mic or to tabletop mics or even to the uh, one of the bars. When I do so, the system will just uh, reflect uh, um, live uh, the choice that I made and uh, uh, showing me a heat map of the coverage of uh, the mic. Again, I can select the uh, full room coverage if I want to uh, more uh, constant uh, coverage within the room or more focused uh, on uh, the table. With the options that I have uh, here uh, near the top, I can move uh, the mics uh, to a different location or any need. Uh, I can add another device if I want to so add another mic, for example, here just uh, near the center of the table, or I can remove uh, devices and the system will reflect my choice in real time. Uh, then by clicking on this uh, hearing icon, I can also check uh, the, uh, how the microphone will sound like from a specific uh, position in the room. So this will simulate and I can really understand how uh, the microphone will, uh, will sound like from a specific uh, position. If I scroll down uh, near the bottom of the page, I have a, a recap. So uh, I can see the different families, the different uh, 
type of mics within uh, the parallel series. I have the ceiling, I have the pendant. So uh, just as a quick uh, reminder, quick uh, recap of uh, the uh, information about the specific uh, product. And the same goes for uh, speaker, camera, and video bars, and so on. So, uh, then the next uh, page will be the speakers. So uh, speakers are already placed automatically. I can still move them, add or remove a speaker. Uh, again, I can change the coverage from full room to focused on the table, and uh, the system will reflect uh, uh, my choice. Okay, and then the result of uh, my choices of my design uh, will be an equipment list. Here is uh, really a list of all the products that uh, I need for my design. And I can see that I have uh, a medium meeting room bundle here, um, which I can uh, click. And this will bring me to the main uh, buyamp.com website where I can see detail about this uh, package, this bundle and I have uh, all the information of what's uh, inside the bundle and uh, the data sheets and so on. So I have uh, um, complete information about uh, my design. Uh, I can also still change the product family from Devio to Zero and vice versa. And I can also add the camera, something that we haven't done uh, yet. Uh, if I add the camera, uh, we can see that the VD250 is appearing in the equipment list. Uh, and there's also a new page here, a camera. So similar as uh, what we did before, we can move the camera uh, along the wall and place it maybe here near the table and uh, see a uh, real view in real time what uh, uh, the, the coverage of the camera will be. So very, very handy, this, uh, uh, this view. Okay, when the project is finished, I can uh, save it and saving means uh, creating a link a url that it's uh, copied to my clipboard and i can also see it uh, here in uh, the uh, browser address bar uh, i can recall this design later at any time and change it edit uh, uh, it to change any uh, specific part of it and when i'm done i can export the design and this is generating a customer-facing PDF document, as we mentioned before. So I have all the room details, the measurement, the heat maps of the mic coverage, the speaker, and the camera positionment, and the exact location, so horizontal and vertical distance for a correct and precise installation of all my audio and video devices. And then at the end, an equipment list that matches what we just saw on the web. So something that it's really handy for us for the installation and uh, as a customer facing uh, documentation. So uh, as you saw, very, very easy, very, very flexible system. All is done, is done in the browser. There's no need to download or install anything on your computer. Everything is free. So it's one of the uh, tools that uh, we provide to support the process of designing uh, a room. We've seen that uh, there are other tools. So uh, the conference room design is perfect for a conference and meeting room, but uh, we have other uh, tools. Uh, if you need to design a classroom, for example, or if you need uh, a specific calculation about uh, uh, parallel microphones uh, placement, or a loudspeaker calculator, amplifiers, everything is uh, uh, can be reached from the design tool page on support.pyam.com. So a lot of free tools that you can use for all of your designs. Um, this is the end of the uh, webinar. Uh, we have time for uh, questions and uh, uh, let's see if there are questions in the chat, please. Uh, do feel free to send your questions now and we'll be able to answer them. Yes, very good, Giulio. So now we we at the end of the webinar, ready for your question. If you have any, uh, I see some 
Okay, one question is about uh, if we are able to use any camera. And in this tool, uh, uh, we included our VD250 camera. That is a 4K camera, 120 degree. And uh, so this is in the tool because it's not, not easy to include any camera. This is the, the, um, uh, the situation today, but it's a good idea. And uh, we take note about this suggestion. What's the coverage area for one ceiling mic? So this is a, an interesting question. And uh, we can get back to some slide before. And uh, I go quickly. OK. Um, this is the, the table that uh, some way uh, sum up the, the pickup distance. So depending on the acoustic of the room, we have different maximum pickup distance uh, from every kind of microphone. Then uh, if you look on our uh, cornerstone uh, support site, you also uh, have the information about the, the size of the cone coming from the microphone. And also, if you use the uh, Parlay microphone calculator, you, you have a graphical representation about the, uh, the cone. But the important thing is the pickup distance, and then you can do your own estimation. Can we cascade tabletop mics? And yes, if yes, how many? Yes, we can cascade uh, uh, two, up to two tabletop mics. So one uh, main mic plus one uh, extension. And the same goes for ceiling mics, one uh, plus one extension. While for a pendant, we can have up to three mics, uh, one plus uh, two extensions. Yeah, this is for single uh, network box, but of course, we can connect more network box to the same uh, um, BIAMP uh, platform. Uh, for example, uh, using just for example, the, the 040X uh, 1600, uh, we can connect an overall of 16 microphones. So, uh, so there's, let's say, no limit depending, uh, uh, depending on the platform that you use. Starting from the Davio, you have maximum one uh, up to uh, Tezira uh, system where you can install many because in a single system, uh, you can install many different uh, Tezira uh, processors. So uh, then uh, I'm looking if we have uh, some other question. Yeah, there's another question about the camera. Again, uh, the camera involved in the uh, conference room designer is the Biamp uh, VD250, but uh, it is 120. That is uh, the same uh, uh, view angle from also VD100 and VD150. Uh, yes, it's uh, let's say a good suggestion to open the system to other camera or to change. Uh, uh, depth of field uh, and also uh, view angle. This is a good suggestion. We we take into consideration this suggestion. And uh, about non-standard room shapes, very good question. Uh, in this moment, the room designer is uh, able to uh, work on regular shapes, and there's the possibility. To, uh, to create more rooms. Uh, so in case you have non-regular, but uh, made about uh, square or uh, rectangular shapes, you can create a sort of uh, second, third room and evaluate uh, um, every single space. Uh, but this is a kind of workaround in this moment only uh, regular shapes are available. Again, good uh, good suggestion for for future development of our calculators. Uh, talking about beamforming, the 
Yes, the technology of uh, microphone parlay is being tracking. Uh, that is a kind of dynamic beam forming. So there's microphone arrays creating uh, a shaped polar pattern and the beam tracking is moving dynamically this, uh, uh, these uh, lobes. And uh, the question is, what happens if uh, two or more person is speaking at the same time around the microphone, uh, the more people will be picked up together. So uh, the microphone is working even we have more sources and the, all the microphones works at the same time. So uh, we have a good uh, coverage even uh, if more people are talking at the same time. And this is a full duplex system. So uh, this works even when the remote end is talking. So it's full duplex and we manage both uh, audio from uh, local and remote ends. What video and sound bars are included in the designer? Um, the, yeah, we can see them. Uh, it's the VBC 2500 and the ABC 2500. So ABC is the audio only version of the bar and the VBC is the video and audio version of the bar. So we can yeah, go, we back can the... go back to microphone selection and we can, for example, select uh this is just an example of course uh we can select the vbc 2500 and uh and this is uh, an option of course this is probably not the right uh, uh not the right room for this uh, solution because it's 10 meters long and uh in uh, uh, with very good acoustic the maximum pickup distance of the BBC 2500 is uh, seven meters. This is based on uh, specification. But in this case, for example, if we switch from good acoustic to perfect acoustic, you can see that the entire room can be covered by the bar. And uh, the other uh, bar managed by the conference room designer is the ABC 2500, that is the one um without the embedded camera so the the bar that you can use with any third party camera or with the uh biome cameras so okay there's another question about uh, about voice lift that uh interesting and uh, um, voice lift with parlay is not supported so Parlay microphone are conference microphones, so uh, made on purpose for conference room to be used with uh, VoIP or uh, UC platforms, but not for voice lift. Okay, uh, there's another another question about uh, event spaces and uh, suitable microphone for event space uh, and uh, with voice lifting. So, uh, okay, uh, again, I, I think I already answered to this. Parlay microphone are not suitable for voice lift, uh, but in case we want to cover, for example, an auditorium, we can do it uh, using, for example, pendant microphones, uh, works very well. So I think we covered more or less all the questions. And uh, again, I, I thank you uh, for, attending this uh, webinar. I hope uh, it was useful for you. Uh, you can reach uh, uh, us uh, with uh, our email. We, uh, you can always reach Biamp, uh, writing to support at biamp.com. And uh, I hope to see you again on the next webinar. Thank you again and have a good day. Thanks, everybody.